The benchmark price of a single-family home in April confirms what I've been speculating for months. The Okanagan real estate market has recovered, and we reached the bottom somewhere in late 2022. I'm Tyrell Volk, a realtor in the Okanagan, and if you're new to the channel, I help you navigate the real estate market and provide you with useful information to help you simplify the process. For months now, the statistics in the central Okanagan have been telling us two different stories. Year over year, prices are down, but that gap keeps getting smaller every month as month over month prices have actually been relatively flat, and the majority of the decline in the market happened in early 2022. The benchmark price of a single-family home in April was down about 9% from what it was last year, but that's less than the 14% that it was down in March. However, the month-over-month -month price is actually up 5% in April from what it was the month before. Inventory is tight, and although sales are down from what they were a year ago, we have about 350 fewer homes listed on the market, which is causing a little bit of price appreciation. There simply isn't enough inventory of what people actually want to buy. The benchmark price of a single-family home in April was $1,051,000 and was about 5% higher than the previous month of $1,001,000. This was largely the same as the benchmark price of January 2022 or July 2022. If we take a look at the average price, we can actually see that the market has been quite balanced over the last six months. Outside of the seasonal dip in December and January, average prices have been relatively stable. In the condo market, prices have seen a slight bump as well. The average price in April was up slightly to 490000 as compared to 478000 in March. Prices have been around the high 400s for four months now, but the benchmark price for condos increased for the second straight month to $528,000, which tells me that we will see the average price continue to increase. If you're in the market for a townhome, you can expect to pay about the same as you did last June, the price in April was up slightly from March, but they're still lower than they were in the first quarter of this year. As the prices in the single-family home market declined, the townhouse market was a little bit behind that as well, and they came down. But now we're looking at probably another month or two as single-family home prices increase, townhome prices will increase as well. If you're looking to get into the townhome market, it might be a good time now before we do see that price appreciation in that market. The average price of a townhome was 696000 in April, which is up from the 679000 in the previous month, but down from 760000 in February. The benchmark price, however, remained around 717000 as prices seemed to be trending upward again. The spring market is here, and it's a balanced, healthy, normal real estate market with tight inventory in certain pockets of the market. In fact, we have about five months of active inventory, across the area, and if that number dips below 4%, that would put us into a seller's market again. But for now, we are in a balanced market. And with interest rates being, you know, relatively stable, uh, the Bank of Canada hasn't increased that rate over their last two announcements, buyer confidence is returning to the market. If more buyers come into the market, then we can replace those sales with new inventory. That could put upward pressure on prices as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you expect the market to have a soft landing? Or do you think that this is just a temporary pause and prices are gonna go down again? That's my real estate market update for this month. Thanks for watching.